Hey everyone, Karen Morales here. I just, uh, just a little bit ago, um, finished skimming through an article uh, talking about Dr. Hearn, Warren Hearn, who is an abortionist. He's 81 years old. And uh, it says something about that in the article. But anyway, I really didn't read through all, all of it completely. But uh, he had written a paper stating how humans are like a cancer and um, going on different things. And <laughs> that's just so funny to me. So your weird ideas, Dr. Hearn, justify the killing of all these um, innocent babies because you think that we're like a cancer? They were devouring the ecosystem. And the reason I say devouring e the ecosystem is because in the article, uh, he called humans homo ecophagus, something like that, which means man who devours the ecosystem. Um, that's crazy to me. So if he thinks that, what does he think he is? Is he human? Or does he think he is a different kind of human where he is not going to be devouring the ecosystem or where he he doesn't consider himself a cancer or is it just the unwanted that are considered cancerous that's funny to me and <laughs> it's very evil I don't realize you know if you all watching this video or even if read if you've read that article how awful and evil that really is and that these ideas really can't be from a normal uh, state of mind or frame of mind thinking like that that's that's just crazy to me we all know that human beings human cells um <laughs> are not cancerous it's human dna and uh whether you call it an unwanted pregnancy or not it's not just a pregnancy it is a life growing so uh <laughs> it almost sounds like he's justifying himself um, but Dr. Hearn, I'm sorry, sir, but you need a fact check and, um, you really need to come to the Lord because he's the only one that can save you from that frame of mind. And he's the only one that can lead you into the truth and open up your spiritual eyes to, uh, what you were really doing and, um, also to the fact of how much God loves us and that we are his creation and you don't realize that Satan is using you as a tool to destroy God's creation Satan will do anything he can to get back at God and he will attack the most innocent and even go as far as using the people who are are so deranged that he would use them as a tool to murder or to destroy other lives you don't realize how he's using you, sir. You really need Jesus. You need to get out of this before it's too late. You are an older gentleman. You don't know how much time you have left. So, I don't know if you would be watching this, but I hope everyone else that's watching this, even the pro, pro life and pro choice, that you will think about why people make statements like that. And for the ones that were pro choice, do you really stop to think about the reasonings of these abortionists and other people that support abortion? Or um, do you just support it just in the name of choice? The thing is, the Bible says that out of the mouth, the heart speaks. So, Jesus even said that out of the heart come idolatry. And he names other things, uh, envy and however he name, uh, names it in the Bible. Um, but the thing is, his thinking and everything stems from what he, is really in his heart. And for someone who believes as a Christian, I don't think you're really going to hear someone talk like that. Um, if they are, then they, they need more of an encounter with the Lord. But we are not cancerous beings. We are created in the image of an almighty God and um, we are far from cancer so we are a beautiful life and uh, anyway I want to share my thoughts on that um, if you have a chance read that article it's on Facebook look up Dr. Warren Hearn late term abortionist um, I'm sure you can find something on that on his paper that he wrote and um, 
if you're not pro-life really do some research on abortion and 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 maybe you'll change your mind and what you really think about it look at videos even though they're graphic it really opens your eyes and, and makes you think wow what are they doing to our innocent babies how could someone do something like that and if that doesn't change your mind well may god help you have a good day